नमस्ते वेलकम टू आल ग्रूप वन सर्विस आस्पिरेंट्स टी सैट प्रिस्टेजली कंडक्टिंग ग्रूप वन सर्विस गाइडें क्लासेस सो इन दिस सीरीज वी आर डिस्कसिंग वेरियस एरिया ऑफ द प्रिलिमिनरी एग्जामेशन सो एमंग वन ऑफ द एरिया इज सैंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी एज यू नो इट सो सैंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी इज अ मेजर पार्ट एंड मोस्टली टेन टू Eleven questions will come from the examination because you have to include the current affairs also in science and technology. Uh, so many scientists they contribute their innovations and discoveries for the scientific development of India. And now India is uh, one of the fast developing country. So definitely in the examination, the examiner will ask the questions on the India's achievement. so now we will discuss each and every one with an elaborative mode so first we will see so the aryabhatta aryabhatta is the first unmanned satellite built by india was breakthrough achievement in india space program so aryabhatta was built by the indian space uh, research organization to conduct experiments in x ray astronomy aeronautics and solar physics and opened new possibilities for isro so as you know that isro that is indian space research organization so recently uh, done uh, so many uh, projections of uh, the various satellites also so this history now one of the after nasa our isro is a leading uh, space organization we did chandrayaan we did uh gangrayan also so all these things are done by the isro so the first achievement is unmanned uh, satellite uh, was sent to the universe in the orbit and the first satellite name was aryabhatta that's a, a very very important uh, question to us okay the india's first indigenous built comeback aircraft that is tejas now we are uh, seeing the uh, picture tejas which was the name given in the aircraft the first flight in 2001 india's first self made light compact aircraft was built by the hall and developed by dr koti harinarayana so here this is a very important uh, means here the india's first indigenously built comeback aircraft aircraft name that is tejas who developed it that is hall developed it so on the development which scientist put his maximum effort that is koti harinarayana this is very very important they will ask this questions on this uh, development here so the name was given for the aircraft as tejas so the indigenous aircraft which was built by our hall is tejas this is a another achievement because it was prepared by taking the technology of indian scientists only okay so chandrayaan the india's first moon probe was efficiently inserted in the lunar orbit in 2008 year and pushed india's space program into the world map putting india side by side with nasa after nasa so the our country did this chandrayaan successfully in the year 2008 and chandrayaan's greatest achievement was the discovery of the extensive presence of water molecules in the lunar soil this one that the chandrayaan uh, project was done by isro in 2008 year with a successful manner after nasa india stood the second one second country which did the chandrayaan successfully and we have a great achievement from this chandrayaan so from the lunar soil we collected the samples and we identify that there is some excess of water molecules the presence of water molecules so we identify from the lunar soil so this is chandrayaan this is the one more thing here now the next one is next achievement is mangalayaan means uh, we send the aircraft that is mars craft we call it as this program 
by own space research organization has been praised as one of the most low cost but high functioning space missions till date. This is a, one of the greatest achievement by the India. This scientific development reached Mars orbit on its first attempt. The brain behind this operation actually the credit goes to the 14 scientists of the ISRO. So, this is a very very important means here the scientific development reached the Mars orbit in the first attempt. So, mostly other countries USA, China, all these countries done this uh, try to do this and to uh, of course, to step on Mars. So, is possible maybe. So, but India achieved this Mangalayan project in first attempt that is the credibility of uh, India the ISRO uh, scientists 14 in ISRO scientists done this project successfully. So, as you know that this is C V Raman you are seeing the C V Raman. C V Raman is one of the most famous scientists of India. So, Raman's academy academic brilliance was established at a very young age. He had a pioneering work on scattering of light. The C V Raman won the Nobel Prize for physics in 1930. He was the first Asian, first non-white who receives the Nobel Prize in the sciences. Here, this is a very, very important. In 1930, uh, Sir C. V. Raman received the Nobel Prize for his experiment scattering of light. So, when the light incident on the prism, so it scattered into various colors called as VIBZR, violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. So, that scattering, see every time you are observing our sky. So, when the sky is a pleasant, the what is the sky color? Sky seems to be like a blue color. When you observe the sea water or the sea from the shore of sea, then we can observe that the water, sea water is in blue color. So, because of scattering of light, this phenomenon was invented by our great uh, scientist Sir C. V. Raman. And also, uh, there is a harmonic sounds will be produced by the our Indian uh, musical instruments that is a tabla and guitar. These one also uh, done by the Sir C. V. Raman and we uh, celebrate his invention day as uh, 20th February as International Science Day also. This is a vast very, very important and he was honored by our government with the, the first, uh, the greatest or first civilian award as Bharata Ratna. So, Sir C. V. Raman was honored by our India with the first civilian award Bharata Ratna. This is about uh, uh, C. V. Raman, it is a greatest achievement. He is the first person from India and the first Asian also and the first non-white person who receives the Nobel Prize. After that, uh, Maragatam Chandrasekhar also receives the Nobel Prize from our India and uh, uh, Rabindranath Tagore also receives the Nobel Prize in literature and Amartya Sen is received the Nobel Prize in economics. So, these are the persons uh, who received the Nobel Prize. So, this is the history about a Nobel Prize of the persons who received the Nobel Prizes. Okay. Now, we will see the next achievement uh, uh, received by the achieved by the our India. Okay. The ISRO launching a staging 104 satellites on a single rocket. So, it is a great achievement. The India Space Research Organization of ISRO demonstrated its expert skills when they launched a record of 104 satellites on a single rocket. So, the single rocket is PSLV C-37. Interestingly, this is the number of satellites anyone has ever launched in a single mission. So, no other country at the moment has achieved this marvelous feat. So, here the rocket used to launch the this 104 satellites is PSLV C-37 and this was uh, this uh, actually this uh, history was created by the our ISRO. So, no country in the world did this fate. So, our country is the first country uh, who uh, launched 
104 satellites with a single rocket that is the rocket name is PSLV C37 which was projected by launched by our Indian space organization that is ISRO clear ok. This is a major achievement achieved from by the our ISRO ok. Recently uh, the ISRO developed the atomic clock. ISRO has made a path breaking invention of the atomic clock. With this invention, ISRO has put itself among the only who possess this uh, sophisticated technology. This clock is extremely useful in navigation satellites and also to measure the price location data, precise location data. European Aerospace imported the atomic clocks with a manufacturer named Astrium. This is a very important bit here and it is honorable to know that we now possess the technology that can manufacture us indigenously. So, Astrium is who are the ma manufacturers for this atomic clocks and this is used in for the navigation of satellites. Now, we are uh, seeing on the screen that is atomic clock which was uh, invented from ISRO. So, this is the greatest achievement and which was uh, uh, prepared manufactured and by indigenously means uh, ourselves only will prepare and this atomic clock was used to navigate the satellites. That is a very important thing uh, which was uh, important feat done by the ISRO clear ok. We will see one more achievement uh, done by the our India. So, that is a developing of indigenous supercomputer called Param. So, the first ever indigenous supercomputer was built by the Center for Development of Advanced Computing, we call it as CDAC. So, this is also here the abbreviation is very important. What is CDAC means here? CDAC means Center for Development of Advanced Computing and the mandate of this same was to set up an indigenous supercomputer that meets high speed computational needs. So, now we have it. This actually this Param Ananta actually what you are seeing on the screen is Param Ananta. This supercomputer was at IIT Gandhinagar. So, this in, in IIT Gandhinagar we have this uh, supercomputer and it uh, uh, performance is uh, the most high performance. So, that one is uh, cheapest one and high performed supercomputer. This is called uh, a Param Ananta. So, generally in the examination they will ask in the, the first supercomputer uh, prepared indigenously by our India is Param supercomputer Param Ananta also we can call it ok. Now, we will see another achievement developing the world fastest and anti-ship cruise missile. So, India developed a self made seeker for uh, Brahmos. So, already this is a recently now it comes in the news also the Brahmos marking it as one of the fastest and most formidable anti-ship cruise missiles. The breakthrough in supersonic missiles will impose the caliber and class of missiles in India. The country has for the first time developed such a missile. So, this is a, in the examination they will ask is a world fastest anti-ship cruise, cruise missile is BrahMos. This was developed by our uh, ISRO with the support of DRDO and this was uh, uh, recently on uh, January 26 on the Republic Day parade it was uh, shown to the total world also. So, the, in the examination they will ask the question is uh, what is the uh, world fastest anti-ship cruise missile that is world fastest anti-ship cruise missile is simply we call it as BrahMos clear. So, this is a one of the uh, greatest achievement ok. So, this is a, an 18 years old teenager uh, done this uh, feat a miracle it is he was developed the world smallest satellite. Recently I reported that an 18 years old with no more than a 3D printer made a world smallest satellite. His name is Rifat Sharuk an 18 years old resident of Tamil Nadu wrote history on he designed the world's smallest satellite and named after the former uh, uh, president uh, Dr. Uh, 
Abdul Kalam who was uh, familiar as missile man for India correct ok and uh, the tiny 3D printed satellite was uh, flown into space with the NASA mission. So, actually uh, this was uh, projected by the NASA mission and you are seeing the uh, picture there is a, a 3D printer. So, actually I, it is a, a satellite, a satellite, a small satellite with this one a very small size the satellite which was uh, used printed by a 3D printer. So, maybe all of you uh, aware about uh, recently to develop this kind of uh, science and technology as uh, skills. So, the government uh, with the support of Niti Ayog uh, started uh, utter tinkering labs throughout the country. So, they are giving uh, uh, information and of course, training to all the school level ch children also. Now, the school level children also is in position to prepare uh, some objects which can be printed by the 3D printer for this some Arduino software, slicing software, this information is required for them. So, even our children also can perform the wonder, this is a one of the uh, outcome because uh, this 18 years uh, uh, old uh, younger children guy uh, did this uh, satellite means it is a output of this uh, government initiation that is Atal Tinkering Lab. So, this is a one of the outcome of the Atal Tinkering Lab which the satellite was printed by the this 3D printer clear ok. Now, we will see one more achievement and this is the space capsule recovery experiment mission. This is the space capsule recovery experiment mission was the India's endeavor in, in establishing its technological ability to recover an orbiting satellite. This turned out to be remarkable feat for Indian space pros it was a remarkable achievement and the technology will now be used to develop recovery technologies for future human and robotic missions. By using a robo robotics and robo technology, so in the universe, so these uh, satellites will be uh, get be recharged uh, and remarkable and they can be repaired. For that the ISRO is developed uh, a a mission called the space capsule recovery experiment uh, mission. Now, we are seeing that uh, uh, capsule here, this can be uh, projected by the these uh, PSLVs, RGSLVs clear ok. Now, we will see uh, one more achievement uh, by this uh, our India. So, in, in, in point of science and technology of uh, owning the largest domestic communication satellite in Asia Pacific. So, the India proudly announce can announce that it owning the communication satellite, the largest communication satellite for domestic purpose in Asia and Pacific. The India's INSAT system, now we are using INSAT system is one of the largest domestic communication satellites that are owned by any nation in the Asia, Asia Pacific region. It initiated a major revolution in India's communication sector, this puts us on a list of few who possess an indigenous communication satellite for domestic use in the Asia Pacific region. So, you are seeing the INSAT. So, the INSAT now we are uh, uh, sending a, uh, the series of uh, this INSAT system INSAT A, INSAT B, INSAT C also the system generally this inside system uh, used for the project the satellites used for the various purposes communication system and domestic for you are using for uh, knowing the uh, atmosphere changes agriculture in all areas we are using this inside domestic communication system uh, and we stood first in the asia pacific region so this is the greatest achievement by India ok. So, now we will see one more achievement from our India. Recently, the India is successfully testing the firing scramjet rocket engine. The ISRO successfully tested a scramjet rocket engine which is essentially uses in atmospheric oxygen from the surroundings to burn it with the fuel to produce a forward thrust. This technology is in star contrast 
to the conventional chemical rocket systems that carry both the oxygen and the fuel uh, together. So, previously after before invention of this uh, rocket, so we are using a conventional uh, chemical reactions means a fuel and oxygen both will be carried by the our rockets. So, here so it is a little bit of heavy one, but after introducing this rocket, so this rocket can use uh, oxygen from the surroundings and burns the fuel and it doubles the thrust and it will anticipate that. So, the trajectory of the projectile will be according to our required manner. So, this is the one most uh, at most achievement from the ISRO uh, which is used in the uh, space technology and rocket technology also clear. So, recently um, ISRO is developed indigenous cryogenic engine for GSLV MK3. Uh, cryogenic engines actually the cryogenic engines are uh, imported from the, the other countries. Now, the our government only is uh, preparing the GSLV indigenously. So, means our ISRO only is developing endogenous uh, uh, what you call it as a cryogenic engines, cryogenic engines. So, now we are seeing the image of a cryogenic engine here. The rocket that was described as a game changer by ISRO is the heaviest rocket in India called as GSLV MK3. The ISRO launched this heavy rocket with a cryogenic engine. The same was indigenously developed and is one of a coin. This step was taken in order to take a step closer to the self-reliance. So, now India got uh, uh, of course achieved self-reliance to prepare cryogenic engines. So, once after once you we are in a, uh, in that stage to prepare the indigenous cryogenic engines. So, then so it is a major step in the uh, space history or a development of satellite and its projections. So, uh, our ISRO is reaching and inching to uh, our get is that is a, uh, individuality or for creating developing the various kinds of satellites and their projections. Okay. There is nano urea liquid. So, recently IFCO is introduced the first nano urea. The nano urea liquid is a nanotechnology based fertilizer that enhances the growth of crops by replenishing their nitrogen requirements. Nano urea was developed at Kalol, Gujarat at IFCO's Nano Biotechnology Research Center. So, here uh, NBRC, we have to know what is NBRC, that is a very important NBRC means Nano Biotechnology Research Center which is uh, at Gujarat that is uh, in the place of Kalol. And the nano urea is a safe for human and animals, birds and soil microorganism also. In addition to that, it is known to have no toxic effects on the environment and uh, very important thing is Ramesh Relia developed the nano urea at Nano Biotechnology Research Center NBRC. Ramesh Relia, so who invented or who developed this nano urea and is Ramesh Relia is very very important. We have the patent to manufacture this uh, nano liquid urea is IFCO. Uh, IFCO is preparing a uh, 500 ml nano urea liquid uh, and it is a uh, it is most useful and we can we can uh, of course it helps the our farmers in the agriculture and just reduces the uh, use of uh, uh, conventional and traditional urea excess of use of this. And one more important of this nano urea liquid is, so if excess of urea will be stored in the plant, it will not be wasted stored in the plant, when it is required to the plant, it will uh, supply to the uh, plant and it is very, very useful for, for the uh, present uh, agriculture system. So, nano urea liquid which was developed by uh, and manufactured by the IFCO. This is a very, very important. Now, we will see one more and uh, as you know it recently the total world, the total world suffered with uh, uh, this pandemic situation, this coronavirus 
and COVID-19, correct? So, the total system uh, is disturbed financially, socially, economically, even in psychologically also the total world is suffered. So, in this uh, uh, bad situations, uh, our India stand, we are the leaders in the um, medical field, of course, in the preparation of vaccines. So, of course, India has a, a good uh, track record in preparation of uh, vaccines. So, uh, our Indian companies prepared uh, two vaccines and supplied to the most of the countries in the world. One of the uh, vaccine is uh, Covaxin and uh, uh, developed by Bharat Biotic. Another one is um, we call it as uh, a Covishield and Covishield was prepared by the Serum Institute of India Private Limited. Okay. So, the Covaxin India in, indigenous COVID-19 vaccine, it is developed by Bharat Biotic with the collaboration with the Indian Council of uh, Medical Research means ICMR and National Institute of uh, Virology NIV. The vaccine is developed by using the whole virine inactivated viral cell. This is a very important. So, you have to say, uh, say uh, what is the vaccine, how it is developed means here whole virine inactivated, inactivated viral cell and developed platform technology. Uh, inactivated vaccine do not replicate and are therefore uh, unlikely to be revert and cause uh, pathological effects and they contain dead virus incapable of infecting people but uh, still able to instruct the immune system to mount the defensive reaction against the infection. Now, the Covaxin will uh, improve the and uh, it is uh, the two doses are given uh, uh, all in, in India especially uh, more than 135 crores of uh, our Indian people and some nearly 98 percent of the uh, people are vaccinated uh, either with the Covaxin or Covishield. So, we will discuss uh, one more achievement uh, uh, from the our government. That is the successful demonstration of the use of uh, cryogenic engines technology, but India among the league only five other such nations. So, India is a uh, one of the country who prepare cryogenic engines, clear. So, the cryogenic engines are highly essential in uh, satellite projections and we have already we have the self-reliance to prepare the cryogenic engines. This is a major achievement by our India with the support of ISRO. So, these are the various achievements achieved by India in, in perspective of science and technology and uh, in other fields also. So, we discussed a few of them. So, mostly all the aspirants have to prepare uh, the achievements which was achieved by the India in uh, various uh, parts and various branches of science and technology. Nanotechnology is there, Wi-Fi system is there. LeFi system is there, FIZ technology is there. So, we have to read all these things and prepare a clear notes. Definitely, it helps to score maximum marks in the examination. Thank you.